do uh, a lot of public speaking around the country, and it's so nice not to have to go to a hotel after our talk today. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about socially engaged Buddhism. Um, I was fortunate to uh, have the opportunity to uh, teach at Washington University for 17 years in the social work school. And for those of you who are familiar with uh, Washington University, you know what a fine institution it is and how it's uh, rated very highly. But I'm always happy to present the fact that the School of Social Work at Washington University is rated number one in the United States. Very happy about that. Uh, under the leadership of, uh, for many years, under Dean uh, Shanti Kanduka, uh, the university, the, the, that department really thrived. And now they have uh, many students who dedicate their lives to being socially engaged and being involved in helping people in all walks of life. Also in Buddhism, there has been a history of involvement of understanding how it is that uh, the Buddha, when he began to speak uh, publicly, he at first, when he attained his enlightenment, he thought for, for a moment, maybe better just to sit and not do anything to disturb the uh, forces. But after 49 days of considering the options, he decided to speak publicly and to begin to help others become enlightened, to liberate themselves from suffering. So we know that uh, engaged Buddhism you know, are those people who seek ways to apply the insights from meditation practice and the Dharma teachings, the <coughs> situations to help the social, political, environmental, and economic suffering and injustice. And these movements are involved in global peace, ecology and environment, prison, dharma, as we've just seen, uh, HIV, other illnesses, emotional and physical, homelessness and poverty, natural disasters, ending prejudice and dehumanization, hospice, death and dying work. So Buddhism is dedicated to the ending of suffering, and it's about loving kindness and compassion, altruism, and equality. And it's based on the practice of being of benefit to others. So as I said before, the Buddha made this decision to go out and teach and to offer uh, his teachings because of his great compassion. And the Buddha and his disciples lived lives of simplicity and a reverence for the Earth's resources. And the Buddha did not discriminate. He opened his Sangha to others regardless of past actions, even murder, issues of social status, gender, etc., were not deterrents for people to become members of the community. And the Buddha taught a path of peace. In the modern era, one monk stands out as a pioneer in developing in the term engaged Buddhism. His name was Master Taishu. And uh, his work um, was involved in the transmission of uh, Buddhism in the non-Buddhist community. But he also was a scientist and was interested in helping people see the connection between science and Buddhism. One of his disciples, Master Inshun, also very involved in promoting the socially engaged aspects of Buddhism. There's an organization, Tzu Chi Foundation, that has uh, been very, very helpful in um, worldwide relief for people who are, have uh, dealt with issues like the tsunami or earthquakes and things like that. If you're looking for an organization to donate money, Tsuchi is very wonderful because almost 100% of the donations go directly on the ground to help people. There's a Tsuchi organization here in the St. Louis area uh, and located in Arnold, the group that uh, works out of that organization. 
organization there. In, uh, Inchun was also instrumental in uh, inspiring Master Sheng Yin, who uh, recently passed away. He is the founder of Dharma Drum Mountain. We have uh, people who practice in the Dharma Drum tradition here in St. Louis at uh, Pure Mind Center. And also uh, Master uh, Xin Yun of Folk Guanshan, who was very active in humanitarian movement and social work environment, academic research as well. There's a Fo Guan Chan Center in Maryland Heights here in St. Louis. All of these organizations very active in um, the socially engaged Buddhism. And uh, Master Jiru, my teacher, also has a strong connection to Master Inshin, and we are very involved in uh, environmental work. So f I'm sure that most people have heard of uh, Thich Nhat Hanh. When uh, Thich Nhat Hanh was a young monk in Vietnam during the war, he would take a boatload of donations and members of the Sangha would go upriver and if they found members from North Vietnam, they treated them with kindness, gave them food, medical care. If they found people from the South, they did the same. So when the people from the South heard that he was helping the people from the North, they got angry. When the people from the North heard that he was helping people from the South, they got angry. So they could only agree on one thing, the North and the South. Let's get rid of Thich Nhat Hanh. So he was sent from Vietnam. And of course he, he went to France and then came to the United States. So his work is world renowned in peace movement, helping to, for people to understand how to resolve conflicts without violence, without hatred, without prejudice. So he was the first person to coin the term in English, socially engaged Buddhism. So we could say that his work would be called the sidelessness. There is no side. We're all together, interconnected. This is the true meaning of a Buddhist practice. And he outlined 14 precepts of engaged Buddhism, which I summarize here because uh, there's quite a bit of information, but I just wanted to summarize it. So the first is there's no absolute truth to fight about. The truth is found in life, not in concepts or words. And so we don't want to use force or propaganda to impose our views, even upon children. When you see suffering, don't close your eyes to it. Live simply without amassing wealth while others are hungry. Do not harbor anger or hatred or ill will. Be mindful and plant the seeds of joy and peace in your mind and wherever you go. Do not foster discord. Instead, resolve conflicts peacefully. Practice right speech by being honest and caring and without giving way to rumor or slander. Do not use Buddhism for personal property, profit or for your own political purposes. Practice a livelihood that is compatible with your interests but doesn't cause harm or foster harmfulness. Don't kill, promote safety and health. Do not take things that are not rightfully yours and respect your body and the body of others. This is the teachings of Thich Nhat Hanh. Thich Nhat Hanh is a pivotal figure in the Buddhism. For those of you who recall the 1960s, when the civil rights movement was going on. Certainly at the forefront of this movement was Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King Jr. was involved with being able to try to resolve the conflicts peacefully without violence. And he was inspired by a Buddhist monk 
named Thich Nhat Hanh, of whom he said, I do not personally know anyone more worthy of the Nobel Peace Prize than the gentle Buddhist monk from Vietnam. I know Thich Nhat Hanh, and I'm privileged to call him my friend. So this is the importance that Thich Nhat Hanh has in our, in our society. Thich Nhat Hanh was also very instrumental in encouraging people like John Kabat-Zinn and others to study the effects of mindfulness training, of meditation on the mind. So now there's a huge movement in the medical community studying what effect mindfulness has on the brain and on the mind, how it changes us for the better. So some of these foundations that I've mentioned, the Suchi Foundation it has a mission to be of help, it was very involved in the tsunami and earthquakes. This is a very good organization that works worldwide and uh, promotes uh, medical as well as uh, food and other f resources for people. When, they, when there have been a natural disaster. The Dharma Drum Foundation also very involved in helping both in teaching meditation but also in helping those who are suffering around the world. So this is an, another organization that we can become involved with so that they uh, to help in their donations around the world to help others. Foguan Shan, the same thing running hospitals and clinics, mobile clinics around the world. So these organizations have at their root the, the principles of Buddhism and also to engage in helping others. Uh, Sing Yun has uh, his own principles, uh, six principles. And I'm not gonna go all th through all six of them, but just a few. Uh, his view is of humanism is, is that the Buddha was a human being who wanted to help people to stop suffering. And because of his compassion and wisdom, he was able to put that into practice. And we can aspire to that as well. And that our practice needs to be done in our daily life. Each day we practice our meditation, we learn how to put our principles of uh, loving kindness and compassion into our daily life, in the people that we work with, the people that we live with. And the concept of altruism, to be able to look at the world from a larger perspective than just our own circle of friends, but to see what it is that's going on around us, to be aware of the difficulties that people are having all around the world. Another inspiring person is a, a Roshi by the name of Bernard Glassman, who's also a rabbi in the Jewish tradition. And he lives in New York, and his involvement has been to bring awareness to the poverty and homelessness in New York, and uh, he and his followers routinely go out and they live on the streets so that they can experience themselves, what it is that others experience when they live on the streets, and also to become personally in contact with people so that they can be of greater benefit. So he's also involved in an organization that's called the Zen Peacemakers to try to use the Zen practice to help, uh, and meditation, to help with those people who are uh, having conflicts, who would generally use force and coercion to try to solve problems, but instead to learn the principles of uh, creating peacefulness through the principles of Zen. For those of you who came to Maba when Fleet Mall was here a few years ago, this is a fellow who had been arrested. He makes a, 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 himself.